Now, this video talks about a geometric sequence and the nth term of a geometric sequence. Now, my formula for the nth term of a geometric series is a1 times r to the n minus 1. This is my formula where a1 is the first term, which we know, and r is the common ratio. You know, and n, of course, is the term number. So let's see, for example, um, find the nth term of these geometric you know, series. How do I know the geometric? They're giving me the common ratio. So this is very easy. They gave me directly everything. So this one actually wants a8. Let's actually find the nth term first because I need the nth term in explicit form to find the eighth term. So this is asking me for the eighth term. Now I could, you know, list this out if I want to. I could say, well, the first term is 5. The second term is 15 because I'm multiplying each term by 3. The second term is 45. I can write out the first eight terms and then find out the eighth term like that. I can also write using the formula, the nth term is a1 times r to the n minus 1. So if I want to find the eighth term, I'm going to replace n with 8 and then simplify. Now the thing about geometric is that they get very large or very small very fast. So the eighth term is 10,935. 10,935. Now be careful with this because it's only the ratio, the common ratio that's being raised to the n minus 1. This happens before I multiply by a1. So just be careful with your order of operations. So here, um, in this case, I want the nth term of this geometric series. So the first term is 24, the second term would be 8, the third term would be 8 thirds. I mean, Notice that the common ratio is one third, so I'm multiplying each term by one third to get to the next one. Let's find the nth term of this geometric sequence because it has a common ratio. So it's the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus one. This is the nth term of this geometric series uh, sequence. Now it doesn't ask me for a particular term number, but once I know the nth term in explicit form, if I want to find the fifth term, for example. I could plug in five into my n. I would use my calculator for this. So one third um, raised to the fourth power and then times 24 in fraction form is equal to eight over 27. Now I could find the hundredth term if I want, just be careful because they do, like I said, get very big or very small very fast because you know, you're dealing with a common ratio. Now, there's one here that I wanted to do, like this one. I want to write the nth term of this geometric. Now, how do I know it's geometric? I don't know until I analyze it. What am I doing from each term to get to the next one? So to go from, now, if it's hard to tell by looking at it. What you can do to determine if it's geometric is to take the second term and divide it by the first one. So negative 0.004 divided by 0 0.0004. I got negative 10. So I'm multiplying this by negative 10 to get to this. Am I doing the same thing to get to the next one? If I want to, I can go a3 divided by a2, 0 0.04 divided by um, point, a negative 0 0.004. I got negative 10 again. I'm multiplying by negative 10. This looks like some. This is multiplication, okay? Not multiplication. And then I can see if that is, you know, consistent throughout the series, this is the sequence. I'm multiplying every term by negative 10, so that means my common ratio is negative 10. My first term is 0 0.0004, careful with your zeros. So the nth term of this geometric, it's geometric in form because it follows that pattern such that I'm multiplying every term by the same number to get to the next one. So the nth term is A1. 0, 0, 0, 4, times r, which is negative 10, to the n minus 1. This is my nth term of this geometric sequence. If I want to find the 10th term, again, this is an example of, you know, be careful with your uh, order of operations. This is 10 minus 1. This exponent only applies to the negative 10. Whatever this is, then you multiply by the point 0, 0, 0, 4. So be careful with that. So negative 10... Uh, in parentheses, raised to the ninth, then times 0 0.0004. You're going to see I get <laughs> negative 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Negative 400,000. So like I said, they grow or they decrease very quickly. 